Football is known as a sport where players often say they put their blood, sweat, and tears into it, but sometimes they put a bit more. And by a bit more, I mean things that are done outside of the rules. While playing dirty compromises the integrity of the game, some players try and get ahead of their opponents by any means necessary. Players on this list became notorious for playing dirty, even infamous from their actions still to this day. In this video, we'll be showing you the downright dirtiest players in NFL history. Starting things off at number 10, we have Roy Williams. Roy Williams spent most of his career as a safety for the Dallas Cowboys. Highly touted out of Oklahoma and an all-pro in the NFL, However, Roy Williams lives in the NFL rulebook because of the unsportsmanlike and dangerous nature of his tackling. So much so, when the NFL banned horse collar tackling in 2004, fans dubbed it the Roy Williams rule. This was after Roy Williams severely injured three offensive stars in the league in one season with horse collar tackles. The problem is, Williams refused to acknowledge the new rule and continued using the horse collar tackle despite getting penalized for it. Roy Williams was such a repeat offender, the NFL commissioner suspended him for a game in 2007. Williams received flack from many players, including teammates, for his steady carelessness of the rules. Even though Williams was a solid player with a long career, he's more remembered for his careless and dirty play on the field. Number 9. One of the scariest players in NFL history, James Harrison. Harrison was built just like the Steeler greats of old. He was underestimated, possessing a work ethic that drew out his nasty style of play. On the field, Harrison quickly became known for his wicked hits, leaving players motionless and brutalized. A certified headhunter, fellow players gave him over 60% of the vote for the most dangerous player in the NFL in 2012. His play rivaled those that came 30 years before him, before the dangers of concussions were fully understood. When asked about his play style, James Harrison replied, I try to hurt people. And yes, Harrison's head-first knockout blows have helped him accrue $150,000 in league fines and 20 missed games from suspensions, essentially making him the league's public enemy number one during his playing days. In this hit on a Cleveland Browns wide receiver that caused the player to bend backwards before falling unconscious to the ground, Harrison said he would have killed him if he knew it was going to lead to a $75,000 fine anyway. Harrison's nasty style led to his great underdog story, but it also landed him a spot on this list. List. Number 8. Rodney Harrison there may have never been a more proficient headhunter than San Diego Chargers and New England Patriots legend, safety Rodney Harrison. Harrison was a hard-hitting safety and multiple-time champion from the late 1990s to the early 2000s. Players are taught to play all out between the whistles. Rodney's reputation preceded him as a player whose intensity carried well past the whistle. Matter of fact, Rodney Harrison became notorious for his late hits. When a publication polled NFL coaches and players in 2004, they voted Rodney Harrison the dirtiest player in the game. Then again, in 2006, and again in 2008. Over his career, Harrison was fined over $200,000 for his illegal hits. He is most notorious for hitting a defenseless Jerry Rice in 2002, striking him with his helmet and knocking him unconscious. Trying to find any advantage he could, Rodney Harrison was suspended for four games after testing positive for PEDs. No wonder those hits pack such a punch. He obviously had a long and prosperous career, but it definitely didn't come without controversy. Number 7. Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward is the only wide receiver on this list, and it's considered a flashy position, but Ward didn't care about that. He's referred as the greatest blocking receiver of all time, regularly helping to spring big plays with his efforts. Having some grit and nastiness comes hand in hand when we talk great blockers, and Heinz Ward is no exception. The Steeler legend became notorious for throwing crushing blindside blocks when defenders can't even see him. These blocks level players, flattening them before they even see it coming. Bengals linebacker Keith Rivers was on the wrong side of one of those. Ward struck him so hard that it broke his jaw, and ending his season in seconds. Another Bengals player reiterated that dirty blindside blocks are what he's known for. Once Rodney Harrison retired, Ward immediately took the crown for the NFL's dirtiest player in 2009. If you have a rule enacted to prevent cheap shots named after you, it's safe to say you are a pretty dirty player. Number 6. Richie Incognito Offensive lineman Richie Incognito's career has been marred with controversy on and off the field. Violent, wicked, and cruel aren't words that describe good people, but they do describe good NFL. NFL blockers. It's pretty well documented that Richie Incognito is an awful person, from bullying his teammates to having a public outburst of rage at his father's funeral. That intensity carried onto the football field, where Incognito was anything but invisible to referees. He stockpiled personal foul penalties throughout the years. When named the second dirtiest player in the league, Incognito boasted proudly saying it was a badge of honor to get into the opponent's heads. Incognito is notorious for trying to gouge eyes and punch players below the belt at the bottom of piles. 
In an altercation with Texans defender Antonio Smith, Richie leg whipped and tripped Smith multiple times attempting to seriously injure him. When asked, Incognito didn't decline the accusations and even refused to change his play style. Richie Incognito will go down as an enigma in the NFL, but not for good reason. Number 5. Albert Hainsworth Defensive tackle Albert Hainsworth was dirty for virtually his whole career, but never more so than the 2006 messy play incident. Hainsworth ripped Dallas Cowboys guard Andre Garode's helmet off and then stomped on his head and it required 30 stitches. His five game suspension is still the longest in NFL history for an in-game incident. Oh yeah, he also kicked his teammate in the chest. That's an easy way to become one of the dirtiest NFL players. Number four, Conrad Dobler. Conrad Dobler has the prestigious honor of being named Sports Illustrated's dirtiest player in NFL history. An offensive lineman for multiple teams in his career, the accolade isn't much of a stretch for a guy who would spit at defenders before the snap. One of Dobler's friends, Philip Villapiano, deemed him a tough, rotten, nasty guy on the field. Dobler stretched the limits of legality on every play. The legend of Conrad Dobler the biter grew throughout his career. If that's enough to tell you what kind of integrity he had, when asked about his reputation, Dobler said, I'll do anything I can get away with. Charismatic lineman intimidated opponents expecting to deal with his actions both before and after the snap. Dobler used his nasty play as an equalizer for his lack of stature and strength compared to his opponents. It served him extremely well, but it didn't make him many friends in his playing days. Number three, Nadamakan Sue. At this point of the list, it's filled with players who did more than hit and block with intensity. Players this close to the top are downright poor human beings willing to do anything to get an edge. That describes Nadamakan Sue perfectly. Sue had numerous run-ins with the rules committee, and there may not be a player with a longer dirty play highlight reel in NFL history. Sue lives in infamy for his cheap shots and late hits, especially to opposing QBs. To name a few of Nadamakan Sue's dirty play highlights, let's see. He speared Aaron Rodgers after the whistle, he attempted to punt Ryan Fitzpatrick's helmet, and forearming Jay Cutler after the snap. But what really takes the cake is stomping on Packers center Evan Smith's chest. All of these actions have vilified Sue, garnering him attention from referees and yearly deductions in pay. If it was not for Sue's immense talent, I'd say he'd probably be blackballed from the league. Number two, Bill Romanowski. Bill Romanowski thinks it's fair to call him the dirtiest player ever. He also confirms that he would cross any line to stay above his competition, meaning the four-time Super Bowl champion linebacker would do anything to win. Nothing is off limits with Bill, who soccer kicked Larry Sinners in the head during a game. For most people, this altercation would be a dark cloud looming over their career, but for Romanowski, it became a yearly event. In a meaningless preseason game, Romanowski hit quarterback Kerry Collins high, breaking his jaw. A year later, Romanowski decided to fight his own teammate at practice, ripping his helmet off and punching him in the eye socket. The player had to retire. Romanowski was known for spitting and getting cheap shots on players no matter what the situation was. You can say he was trying to get ahead, but it's clear Romanowski enjoyed playing dirty, even when there was nothing to gain from it. Number one, Vontez Burfik. The NFL today is built to maintain the player's safety in this violent game we call football. That being said, there isn't a player that has sent the league back more than Vontez Burfik. He loves to strike players with the crown of his helmet, clearly attempting to injure people. In his most infamous moment, Burfik absolutely blasted Antonio Brown, knocking him unconscious. Some even think the hit changed Brown forever. What it definitely changed was the outcome of the game. The penalty enforced lost the Bengals the playoff game. Not just hitting defenseless receivers, Burfik has kneed QBs in the crotch before. He even twisted Cam Newton's ankle after a play and regularly dives at the knees of runners attempting to end their careers. Fortunately for other NFL players, his repeated offenses have led to the NFL ending his own career. Following his last unnecessary personal foul in 2019, Vontez Burfik was suspended for the entire season. After being released by the Raiders and reinstated, it seems like the league had chosen not to resign him in the prime of his athletic career. It's the right thing to do as Vontez Burfik has taken a lot more from the league than he's brought to it. So what do you guys think? Who's the dirtiest player in the NFL right now? Also, if there's a player you think I missed, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and make sure to subscribe.